Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. I am Devendra Veligandra. In this demo, you are going to see why you want to export a web part in SharePoint 2013 or SharePoint 2013 online and how you could export list view web part using SharePoint Designer and what is the difference between dot web part which is v3 version and dot dwp file which is v2 version of the web parts so why do you want to export a web part especially when you are provisioning the pages and also when you are provisioning the site itself and you want to add set of web parts on the landing page so during that time you just export the file and put it in those pages and deploy them right using features and also one more thing is you just want to make sure uh, you just do all the configurations and export it to web pod gallery and use it wherever you want within that particular site collection that's where you do the export to a web part and the next one is uh, we will see how we are going to export those web parts uh, using the browser and especially list view web part need to be done using SharePoint designer because you won't see export option on the browser okay let's go ahead and open the SharePoint this is my SharePoint online site so let's go ahead and add a web part and to add a web part click on edit and on the ribbon click insert click on web part now i'm gonna just add a web part from social collaboration which is site users just click on add to add the web part to the page here you can see that it is showing site users and groups and if i go to edit menu i don't see export option here from the web part so let's go ahead and edit this web part and the settings I want to make here is I just want to have only the peoples from the members group so I'm going to change this option and if you go to advanced section you can see that you have an export mode from here just choose export all data so once you choose export all data it should be available to export this web part just click apply okay now if you come back to the web part again here you could see that you have export option available just click on that export option and also here you can see that now it's showing only the members of this site so click export now you could see that it's asked me to sh save this as a dwp file so just save as on the desktop okay now if you go back to the desktop and open it in notepad plus plus you could see that you have a web part file with various properties and just see the version of this particular file you could see that the web part version is v2 and in case of v2 for each one of them you have different property title frame type okay so we'll see shortly the v3 version of the web part as well so after exporting this web part you could just copy this and put it in the C data in the elements.xml file now let's go ahead and configure the list view web part okay so let's say you want to just change the title of the document library let's go ahead and add a list view web part for the documents and just click add here Now once you have added the web part, edit the web part. Now here in this example, I just want to change only the title of this web part. The documents to recent documents. Okay, so I just change the title. And if I try to go to advanced options, where in the other web parts I have seen the export option, but here I don't have any other option. So just make the configurations apply okay and click save now i have a recent documents here within the site now to export it i can go to sharepoint designer and open my sharepoint online site 
go to site pages because this is the page which is under site pages home.aspx if I open the home.aspx in advanced mode okay and I can see that the web part is here list view web part and once I select the list view web part on the ribbon I can see that web parts tool is available just click on the web part tools and either I can export this web part to site gallery or I can export to local file so if you click on to, to site gallery it is going to be saved into site gallery with the properties and all so I just want to save it to the desktop so let's go ahead and save this one to the desktop and if I see this in a notepad and here this is how it looks which is having a various properties uh, see that you have client render and no default site what is the list name and various properties you can see that the title which we have changed okay but if you want to put this one in the elements.xml file or the web template it's not going to work because the schema is completely different here okay so what we have to do is we have to open on premises site and this is my on premises site i'm going to edit this page now and i'll just go ahead and add the similar a web part which is called document list view web part okay and i will edit the properties of this web part and i'll change the title here let's say recent documents and i'll just apply the changes click ok now the title has been changed just save the file now i'll open this site using shapepoint designer okay which is already open here i'll just refresh okay now i'll go to the site pages here this is my home page let's open this page in the advanced mode like how we did for the shapepoint online site and let's go to the list of web part here and again on the ribbon you could see that web part tools are available click on the web part tools click to file and save it in the desktop let me go back and add this web part in the notepad now you could see that the web part the format is v3 and for each one of the property you have a tag called property whereas if you see the v2 version of the web part you have a different tag for each property like title and everything but here it is like the properties that is the main difference but this is the latest web part uh, the version the v3 so try to use as much as a v3 web parts but if you have already v2 version it's not a problem because if you go to the site web part gallery go to site settings and a web parts here you could find a lot of web parts which are still a v2 version and there is a combination of both okay and you could see that the wp web parts and dot web part files so dot web part files are v3 versions okay so in this demo we have seen how we could export the dwp files and web part files for v2 and v3 versions of the web part okay in shapepoint 2013 as well as shapepoint 2013 online thank you for watching this lesson we'll see you next lesson for more videos keep watching shapepointjourney.com